So we will stand up all together, raise our eyes up to the sky with faith and love in our hearts. And we will embark. Oh, oh, oh. We will give a we can give. Match day five, folks. Let's not waste any time. <clears throat> Let's get into it. Hello, my fellow Latter-day Saints. Kenzie Retro here. Season four. Uh, season five. What up? Season five of Rocket League. Here we go. This... This is it, match day five of the Rocket League Champions League. And... Yes, yeah, season five, yes, yeah. so here we go. Match day five, Rocket League Champions League. Let's not waste any time, let's just... Let's get into it. Tokyo to start. So into group A first. Uh, this is where it's pretty much all or nothing for some of these teams. Borussia Dortmund need to win their next match, which happens to be right now against Atletico Madrid. Last time they both met, it was 3 0 to Borussia Dortmund. And now that they've got the home turf advantage, can they capitalize on it? Or will Atletico Madrid knock them out of the Champions League in their last matches as well? Monaco beating Borussia Dortmund 3-2 and Club Bruges beating Atletico Madrid 2-0. Great save there from Retro. Sentis with a shot. Wasn't to be. Well, the Borussia Dortmund need to win. And they need they need Club Bruges. Realistically, they need Club Bruges to win to have a chance of that second spot in the group. But it's 1-0 to Madrid. Formal with the shot. Storm with the deflection. Really unlucky there. 1-0 to Madrid. This is a fantastic... Oh, 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 oh! And Dortmund straight out with an equaliser. That certainly didn't take them long. And that's one each and we're not even a minute into the game. First touch there for Retro. Oh, 
Oh, that is beautiful! Just like that! A demolition and a goal for Retro! Madrid 2-1 up! And it was a demolition on Iceman. Swerves round Rainmaker says thank you very much. I mean, that would have been around about 65 miles an hour. So yeah, yesterday I, I got a, uh, yesterday I managed to get a music cover up, one of the last ones I do for 2018. You can check that out, um, shortly, you can check that out, um, and Retro, oh, superb! <laughs> Do a barrel roll, and he got the goal. 3-1 to Madrid. Last time out, match day four. Huge game for Paris Saint-Germain. They were 3-0 up, and they went and lost the game 4-3, putting them out of the Champions League. Here comes Retro for the hat trick! Just like that! Retro has been on fire today. Former with the assist on Retro's hat trick goal, by the way. Oh, no way is he going to get a fourth. He's only going to get a fourth with a reverse hit. Now the backwards goal is essentially just scoring a goal with the rear end of your car. Absolutely brilliant! That's his fourth goal of the day! There's surely no way back! I think Borussia Dortmund may just have to accept that they ain't going any further in this tournament! Oh, Iceman demolishing Fro Foma. One minute to go. Borussia Dortmund, are they just have to accept that there is no way back for them now. You may remember, for those who watched it on Friday as well, that uh, I managed to record my reactions to the Avengers 4 trailer 20 minutes after the trailer went live on Marvel's YouTube channel. And just like that, Retro, a fifth goal today.
How dominant has Retro been today? But back to my Avengers, back to the Avengers 4 trailer. It's the most viewed movie trailer in the history of YouTube. About 268 million views when the article was written in just, I mean, 200, nearly 270 million views in just 24 hours. Beggar's belief. That's how hyped fans are for this film. Release date April 26th for that one. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, uh, starting to do film reviews again. But I mean, look at that. 100% strike rate, five shots, five goals, Madrid have annihilated Borussia Dortmund. No mercy. And Borussia Dortmund are out of the Champions League. Monaco and Club Bruges, last time they met. 4-2 to Club Bruges. Now, a win for Bruges will punch their ticket into the last 16. Borussia Dortmund have to make do with being in the Europa League last 16. Like I said, like I said at the start of the um, uh, Rocket League Champions League. Uh oh! Oh, big mistake from Retro! What a save from Dude! <sighs> Saving grace there for Retro. But he gets a shot. He gets a goal. That's his sixth one in two. Ma <laughs> dribbling it, dribbling it away, and there you go. A win for Monaco here means it'll be a three-way tie. A three-way tie on points, meaning any one of them could... Any one of the three teams. <laughs> it'll be anyone's guess. Retro assisting Foma there. Off the, off the post and in. 2-0 to Monaco. And you can you can definitely see from the last from these group games that Retro has really stepped up his game. I mean, five five goals against Borussia Dortmund. How on earth? Brilliant clearance there from Retro. Now into the danger area. Oh! Superb there from Swabby. Absolutely superb. And oh, unlucky there from Stinger. I mean, I mean, looking at the goal, I mean, looking at this, um, Monaco are going to stay third on goal difference. Madrid are top of the group on goals scored. All Monaco need is one more goal. Oh, oh, Retro and Beast both getting a shot, but none of them able to find the target. All Monaco needs, all Monaco needs one more goal. A shot there from Stinger could have put uh, a spanner in the works to those plans. But my goodness me, business picked up. 
Two shots from Dude. Two saves from Swabby. Unbelievable. 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 And oh, Stinger! Well, there's that third goal for Monaco. Dude finally getting there. Third time's the charm. Or fourth. I think it was Swabby demolishing Retro there, but Dude came through, gets the third goal for Monaco. They so desperately need to be able to take second place in the group. And they will go second as it stands on goal difference! And Beast gets a fourth! And Tusk! Wow! Off one of the pillars and straight through the middle! How often do you see that happening? Not very! Retro, oh, unlucky there. Couldn't, couldn't make the connection there. Less than a minute to go. Oh, de demolition on Stinger. Nice save from Dude. Here comes Retro. Scintillating finish. He makes it look so easy. How easy did he make that look? Thirty seconds left. Oh, no way, is that number six? It is. Monaco on. At this rate, at this rate, they may just top the group, not just on goal difference, but on goals scored. Their goal difference was minus two. But the difference now is plus three. Make that plus two. And Club Bruges have gone from plus three to what was minus two, now it's minus one. A dominant win there from Monaco. So there you go. Monaco top of Monaco second in the group on goal difference. A three-way tie on points. It's group B now and they're in the same situation. Tottenham need to win. And they're against Barcelona last time they met. It was 1-0 to Barcelona. But in their last match, PSV Eindhoven beat Tottenham 3-2 and Barcelona demolishing Inter Milan 5-0. A 
Because they Tottenham need to win this match. They look like they, they may have the home turf advantage. But Barcelona already on the attack. Tottenham on the counter. Tottenham with only one win from four matches. Oh, just like that! Can Retro be any more dominant? Yuri slots it home. 1-0 to Barcelona. But to go top of the group, they need Inter Milan to pretty much destroy Eindhoven. But Eindhoven are top of the group at the moment. Yuri demolishing Hound there. Good bit of defensive work there. They points, points for Tottenham and goals. Well, of course, you need the goals to get the points. Beautiful there. Oh. And oh. Yuri with the shot. Long range finish. 2 0. Ceiling. Boom! <laughs> One touch is all he needed! How about that? Oh, Yuri with the short fury. Great save there. Oh, Yui demolishing Fury. <laughs> the case, uh, that's payback for the save. And now Yuri on the attack. Retro waiting for the opportunity. Opportunity knocks! Can't quite connect. Barcelona will stay second as it stands on goal difference. But if Tottenham can somehow either equalize or even win this match, they'll take this to the final. They'll keep their hopes alive for the final day. They just need results to go their way. Eindhoven win their next match. And there you go. It will be a three-way tie to see who takes second place and who goes into the last 16. And who gets relegated to the Europa League. And 
there's your equaliser for Tottenham. From 2-0 down, they may just do it here. Sultan, great shot. Wasn't to be. It just wasn't to be. But here comes Tottenham on the counter attack. Hollywood with a. Ch oh, good chance there from Hollywood. Ten seconds left. Five seconds. We may be going to overtime. And overtime it is. This may be worse than a penalty shootout. Tottenham need to win here. Or they are in the Europa League. Here we go. Retro. Five minutes of overtime. We've never actually seen this go the full overtime. But Tottenham, Fury with the shot. We've never actually seen this hit the full overtime mark of five minutes. But what will happen if that's the case? Collision course between Yuri and Retro. Yuri demolishing Fury again. Tottenham anxiously. I mean, Tottenham manager anxiously watching the clock. And there's Retro! Knocking Tottenham out of the Champions League! With Tottenham now no longer able to advance to the last 16, Inter Milan and Eindhoven last time they met. Three. Last time they met. It was a 2-1 win to Inter Milan. Oh! Hound demolishing Samara right out of the gate. That didn't take them long. And Hound with a shot already. Dude assisting. And it's 1-0 to Milan. A uh, good performance from Milan today. Could see them leapfrog Barcelona. And take second place heading into the final match. Oh, that is exquisite work from Retro! The skill this guy has! Well, that's one of the joys of being able to play this series every, uh, pretty much every week. Being able to... Showcase what I'm made of. <laughs> Thank you, Crush 40. Oh, 
Right. So. Next subscriber target for you guys. How about... How about trying to hit 100 subs by the end of next year? How's about that? 50 subs was my first big milestone. Then I hit 60 over the course of the last week. So how's about hitting 100? How's about hitting 100 by this time next year? Which would be... I mean, that would be a major milestone for me. Great save there from Retro, Viper with the shot. I mean, Eindhoven, if Eindhoven wins, oh, fantastic save from Viper. <laughs> I love the little jingles they managed to come up with for the, uh, for the epic save. Oh! Ouch! Hound with the shot! Not quite finding the target. Good clearance there from Retro. And he lands on his feet! Is he like a cow or something? Because there is the myth that uh, cats always manage to land on their feet. Oh, good shot there from Hound, not quite finding the target. This is a fantastic... This, is, this has been a fantastic group stage. Well, fantastic match day so far. We've got two two more teams no longer able to advance to the last 16. I mean, the huge shocker of the last one was Paris Saint-Germain. People were hoping that Tottenham were going to get through to the last 16, but not on this occasion. I mean, Barcelona and Inter Milan, two really tough teams. Yeah, yeah good luck with that. I mean, it'd be a real shocker if... Barcelona didn't make it through. Thirty seconds left. There's dude. Nowhere near the target. And the crowd counting down into Milan. A very strong performance today. 2-0 on the day. Day third on goal difference. And now there you are, the champions field. That is where the final will take place. I mean, look at the crowd. Sold out stadium. As we head into group C. Now just a just a recap. I mean Paris Saint Germain, they they can't advance. 
If Liverpool win, I mean, I mean basically, if Paris Saint-Germain lose, they're not even going to finish third. They're going to be rock bottom of the group. Last time, Napoli 3-2 win against Liverpool. And Paris Saint-Germain losing 5-3 to Red Star Belgrade, knocking them out of the Champions League in the process. Last time Paris met Napoli, it was a 4-2 win to Napoli. So here we go. I mean, you've got a you've got pretty much a capacity crowd. They'll say Paris need to win to have any hopes of not finishing bottom of the group, but they need Liverpool to lose as well. They need results to go their way to have any chance of getting third place. And there's oh. Great defensive work there from Napoli. Oh, Retro missed. Viper with the shot. Myrtle, what a save. Just what they need. Just what they need. And you're... Oh, my word! Takes with an own goal! And Paris 1-0 up! It's a tall order for Paris at this point. Their goal difference now stands at minus... Seven. It was minus eight, but thanks to that goal. And go! Oh, oh no! Dalton with an own goal of his own. My goodness me. And Viper, wow, 2-0. Did I say 2-0? I meant to say 2-1. So, that's if, that's if I did say 2 0. Demolition there on Tex. Oh, oh, oh! I don't know. Oh no! Three one. <sighs> Did that deflect off retro though?
And Retro with a shot. Oh, beautiful. Retro has been so dominant. I've lost count of how many goals he's scored over the course of the... Today alone. There from Retro. Sixty seconds left on the clock. About 30 seconds left. Oh, demolition there on Viper. Thanks to Retro. 30 seconds, left on the clock. 30 seconds to go. And Paris on the verge of a of pretty much the end of a humiliating campaign. Not if Retro has anything to do with it. Myrtle assisting Retro. You will be credited for the assist, but in Retro's eyes, it's an assist. Here we go. Are we going to overtime? Yes, we are. Now Tottenham lost. Tottenham lost their chance to get into the last 16 in overtime. Are Paris going to finish bottom because of overtime? Retro with the shot. Not quite finding the target. Oh my goodness me. Oh my word. Now, with regards to F1 2018, I, I, pl I played a lot of online last night. And as far as uh, my rank, uh, well, my safety rating is concerned, I'm not calling it a rating, I'm calling it a safety rank. I went all the way from a C rank to an S rank. <laughs> Thank you. Gotta keep it clean. Gotta keep it clean. Two games today that have gone into overtime. Wrong sport. Wrong sport. Defense is basketball. It will always be basketball. It will not be anything else but basketball. About two minutes into overtime. Oh! And Retro just lost a golden opportunity. And oh, shoot! And that absolutely magnificent goal ensures that Paris are not only out of the Champions League, but regardless of what happens, they finish rock bottom of the group! Where 
did it all go wrong for Paris? I mean, on paper, it doesn't look too bad for them. The goal difference only minus nine. But the, they've only scored ten goals throughout the entire campaign so far. That's on average two per match. Now, this one, this one's make or break for Liverpool. They win this match. It goes to the final day. They lose this match, and it's Napoli and Belgrade that will advance to the last 16. There will just be a of which order they finish in the group. Liverpool are guaranteed third place regardless. But back to Paris. Yes, they scored 10 goals, fair enough. In 15. Oh, 19. They've conceded 19 goals. Only scored 10. Five losses. Zero points. You can never discount Liverpool. Never discount Liverpool. You never know with Liverpool. Last time these two teams met, Liverpool won 3 1. the away team on this occasion a win for them will see this go to the final day but a win for Belgrade means one group has officially confirmed the next two participants that will be guaranteed a place in the last 16 a great attempt there from Liverpool I mean, how on earth did it all go so horribly wrong? How did it all go so horribly wrong for Paris? Oh, and that's one for Belgrade! Demolition there. Oh, chipper. Chipper clearing it. And retro!
great equaliser there. Like I said, you just never know with Liverpool. There's two minutes left. And with the way the goal difference is, they'll take second place on goals scored, never mind goal difference. No, actually, they will they will take second on goal difference. Belgrade will be on plus... T will be on... P on plus one. And Liverpool will be on... Plus four, if they get another goal here. And Retro, oh, what an opportunity there. Demolition there on Merlin. Great save there from Iceman. And it's wide open, and Mini has just put Liverpool ahead! This means the Red Star Bell. And Cougar! Oh! And Retro! Beautiful 3 1! Ricochets off the post, off midi, and into the net. Smiles all around for the Liverpool fans. It's going to the final day. <laughs> Liverpool could still be in the last 16 here. Group D next. Locomotive Moscow are already through. We've got Porto. They're against Porto next. A win for Porto. A win for Porto here will more or less guarantee But I mean, but I mean with three points separating second, third and fourth it could still go to the final day but a win for Moscow Means we will still need to go to the final day. Schalke and Galatasaray. Last time Moscow met Porto. It was a 3-2 thriller. In their last match. In the group stages. Uh, Porto lost 4-2 to Schalke. Galatasaray lost 4-2 to Moscow. Moscow's win, guaranteeing them a place in the last 16. Another sold out crowd today. Porto have the home advantage. Beast demolishing Hita right out of the gate.
And there we go. There's one for Moscow. Well, actually, the way to look at it, if it's goalless, if it's a draw between Schalke and Galatasaray, it will mean that Porto do indeed go through. It will mean that Porto go through regardless of what happens in the final match. Demolition there on Viper, thanks to Retro. Calm, focused, relaxed. No doubt. Is it a win for Porto. A shot from Sticks and a shot from Heater. Great save there from Viper. A win for Porto means whoever loses between Schalke and Galatasaray, whoever loses between them, it will be game over for their campaign. Ah, oh, retro. Lost the accuracy on his position, and as a result... Good defensive work there, Retro with the clearance. Raja with the shot there, Beast, great save there. Heater with the equalizer. Wrong, wrong sport. Wrong sport.
Thing we may be seeing all the time here. And all the time it is. Fantastic finish from Retro! Porto keep their hopes alive! Moscow with their first loss of the campaign! Keeps their hopes alive. Oops. Oh. Loser. The loser will have to walk away knowing they can't make it to the last 16. Here we go. Last time these two teams met, it was 3-2 to Galatasaray. We've got another thrilling encounter later today between Manchester United and Juventus. Yeah. And oh! That, I believe, is a goal for Schalke. Oh, Gerwin with the shot! Gerwin makes it two! Sounds like oriental music. Gerwin with the shot, trying to make it three slider with the save. And that, oh, Boomer with the shot, that's surely three! Caveman with the shot! 
Boomer gets the goal, Caveman with the assist, and that is three. And oh, there we go, Retro gets a goal! Being a demolishing squall there. Here comes Retro. Oh, timing was. Everything. A demolition there. Demolishing Squall takes the shot. Thank you very much. Well, I mean... At the end of the day, one of these teams will not be going any further in the competition today. But is it going to be Schalke or is it going to be Galatasaray? Boomer with the shot to try and make it 4-2. Oh, Retro tried to go for it, but it wasn't enough. And Galatasaray are out.